All right, welcome back, everybody, to the creepy tunnel. Look at all this. Who would do this? Okay, so I am gonna straight up say this is supposed to be like chemicals, uh, maybe biological stuff. Um, this, the tree star, I'm actually beginning to believe is a cell now that I've seen this wall. And then this side is the mechanical. This is the the circuit. Something about 220. But yeah, this is the circuit. This is the biological. I'm going to just, there's more circuits. With some more hard to read words. Away from being Aki? Away from being Aki. <laughs> and shall be uh, I can't really read that. That's keep, I think. I'll be running... I don't know. I can't really read it. It's hard to read. I don't want to sit there and spend a day trying to read it. Aki. I don't even know what that could possibly mean. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is the kind of thing in Spelunky and I'm not sure I'd be okay with. Actually, I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be okay with it. <laughs> Unless I knew for sure that it was just gonna be something like that. Like, that all it was gonna be would be to swim under a little ridge and be fine. Another giant hole. Looks like there's something on the other side. Let's try to sneak across no That...
So I told you I wouldn't get the story. <laughs> Maybe it'll make more sense later on here. On to the next chapter, though. Oh, we're out of the cave. More candles. A tent. We were apparently in that cave for a really long time. I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? There's another circuit over there. Like, I understand what he said that they were. Like, the whole... White lions to alert travelers they could see from sea, but let's go check this out. But I don't understand why they're circuits. Like, they, they literally look like electrical circuits. <laughs> and then all the biological stuff. Whoa, this is, uh... candle here. If I was collecting candles, I would have so many right now. I'd be like good to go. Huh. So we're definitely really far away from civilization because <laughs> you can see the sky. Just saying. All the stars. Sorry. Stargazing. Is the moon actually, like, moving? Is time, like, actually passing? I don't know. I was gonna say, like... It'd be really hard to tell just by looking at it, though. Candles everywhere! We shall begin to assemble our own version of the North Shore. We will scrawl in dead languages and electrical diagrams and hide them away for future theologians to muse and mumble over. We will send a letter to Esther Donnelly and demand her answer. We will mix the paint with ashes and tarmac and the glow from our infections. We will paint a moon over the Sanford Junction and blue lights falling like stars along the hard shoulder. Esther Donnelly. Maybe they'd already said that and I just missed it. But now, I feel like I know who, who Esther is. And yeah, so he is just making electrical diagrams everywhere. And dead languages, he's saying. So, this is probably some kind of dead language that I don't know a thing about. Hence the, the, the dead. I really wish I could get down and see this closer. That's as close as I can get. Maybe that's him. Maybe that's not him. I don't know. It's time to wander, follow his candles. Let us continue to follow his journey. Let's see what's over here. There's a lot of like little like cavern areas in this hillside. A whole bunch of pieces of a car. Again with the car. Car seems to be a pretty important part of whatever's going on. A 
hall by the roadside, by the exit for Damascus, all ticking and cooled, all feathers and remorse, all of these signals rooted like traffic through the circuit diagrams of our guts, those badly ridden boats torn bottomless in the swells, washing us forever ashore. Sounds like two different people to me. Maybe it is. Plight from heaven shone around. Uh, him. Plight from heaven shone around him. Okay, well, when we come back, we'll continue to wander this landscape and try to figure out what's going on here. See you then.